futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Well, good day, everyone. Ira Epstein, and here we are on Monday, and this is the 22nd of August, 2011, getting on the 2.40 in the afternoon. We've got a quiet day in the stock market. It's been either side of unchanged. Most of the day, I'd say the bias has been up, if anything. The gold market's been a powerhouse. The market opened in the 1860s, roared on last night, did get a pullback where you lost a good part of that gain. Never went negative that I saw, and the market's just sitting here $40 higher. Silver gaining a bit on the gold market, up about a dollar thirty at this point in time. So let's take a look at the chart and get a feel for what is going on in the gold. You know, this is one of these markets that has left a lot of us behind, and I'll tell you the, the sad part. I was writing a report, and you can go back and get my gold reports where I pointed out all through July the reports that I was writing that I was betting that the market would gain by year end, year end conservatively five to ten percent from the end of July you've already done it and you're adding to that now the most I've seen gold rally from the end of August onwards about 22 percent 23 percent so any gain over 1625 that's two thousand dollars be careful you're definitely setting something that I'm not convinced is going to hold doesn't mean it can't but I'm not thinking it will and I'm looking for the gold to actually set back for a buy opportunity off of no reason whatsoever maybe the exchange will raise margins again maybe that'll be the reason I don't know but when I look at the market I can see that we've clearly got the pattern of higher highs it's set this way up right from July and it hasn't given you a second chance in 172580 is important because that is the last break low and now the 18 day average of closes the red line as i call it is at 172950 it'll go up again tonight because the slope has been higher but that's where i think wherever that number comes in 1730s 40s is where the support of the market will be on the first hard break the 45 and 100 day average is way under the market and this market has just been all go go get them from day one when you get a correction if you covered the name of the chart you would say this market's going to set itself up for a correction for no other reason that corrections happen after this type of big advance the Bollinger Band you're back up and just slightly over it that number is 1892.40 you're at 1895.20 I didn't look at where the uh, 1230 uh, Chicago time was but I'm gonna guess it's in this general area right now but in any case you keep hitting it and you're bouncing away from it so it's acting still very very bullish in terms of market action momentum in the market is switched over from being overbought to locking in the uptrend again so until the red line and the stochastic down here gets back under 80 no it's up up and away you don't fight City Hall you know I, I hear about people trying to pick tops and you're starting to see that in some of the the uh, financial TV shows well anyone's picking a top is wrong end of discussion they may get lucky but you could have picked the top here you could have tried picking it there it'll be luck why fight a trend you don't fight a trend wait for the trend to correct I don't think 1900 is going to be a big number for the market to overcome either I think the next big number is two thousand dollars just a magical number about it uh, for the gold price in the silver, the silver is over the Bollinger Band two days in a row. This is not a spot that I would be telling you to buy. That's number one. I think the market's ahead of itself, bullish as can be. Support back in the $40 an ounce range, which is about $3, nearly $4 cheaper than where it's at right now, and overbought. Unlike the gold, which has this locked-in stochastic, silver's just getting there with the red line, definitely overbought in my opinion. In the copper market, it's still bearish. So the world is this. Uh, copper, industrial metal, nobody's quite certain what's going to happen. I wouldn't label the copper market as counting on what Japan, no, I'm sorry, what China does. 
as it gets itself uh, moving in its economy again. And I don't think they're going to race for the commodity price. So maybe it sets back a little more. This was an area that I was looking for value, and I've got it. So I'm going to call the market in a trading range. Let's call it 410 to 390, and we'll see how the market handles that range. In the crude oil market, we're getting a bit of a rally today, a nice one, in fact, $2. Now, why is what you've got to ask yourself, and I can't give you an answer on that. Uh, if you think about Libya, eventually oil comes back on board once NATO and the rebels take over. How long that'll be is anybody's guess. What's the infrastructure like? What are the ports like? I don't think anybody really knows at this point in time. The demand will be there for their oil, but there's a lot to be decided. So maybe that's what the market's saying. Maybe the market's saying, yeah, that will come, but it's not ready. So it's not an event, and maybe the market just goes up a little bit. Who knows? I look at the, the market, though, as having a higher high and a lower low, and the 18-day average is falling, so I'm still not seeing anything just yet that is bullish. Now, here's the gold-silver ratio, and this is one of these markets that uh, I think I've done a fairly good job for you of calling it. I said that over $45, which is right through here, it looks a little rich, and now the silver is gaining back on the gold. The lower this brown line goes. That means you need less ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold. It's called the gold-silver ratio. When we take a look at the note market, the 10-year note, uh, you're still in a bullish configuration, but this red line is starting to arc down. And if it arcs enough, I'm thinking that interest rates are going to go back higher. Now, if interest rates go back higher, maybe it means the stock market reaches a bottom. Maybe it means copper comes into demand at some point. Hard to know. And this is, as I said, summer months, August 22nd, kids starting school again. Nobody's mind's really on the market the way that it should be. You need a cu another couple of weeks for that to occur. The resistance in the rebob gasoline, I've been looking for the 270, 260 level. You can see the 18-day average of closes. Today you got the 270, 203, didn't quite make it. And you'd have to get over 277.17 to tell me that the market is ready to turn the trend back up. Right now I think the pros are selling short into that market. In the Brent, and this is what you're impacting more than a WTI crude, which is American crude, you are down 30 cents. So there is some thinking here that, uh, okay, the narrowing in of the spread from Brent, WTI, maybe that will go on. Maybe this will stay under a little pressure. I think that the market's going to get sold at the 110 zone, and traders will put their stops over the 111.75 area and see what's going on. As you can see from when I began the show, you are still getting a bid going into the close in the stock market. Uh, some people might argue that we had a successful test, in fact, of the August 11th lows, but I don't think the volume is big enough to really make that decision just yet. In any case, our futures trading kit, and this is a download. I make it look like a CD, but it's really a download that we send you by email. It includes access to the charting software, and you can customize it, play with it. You get on my recorded webinars, and I'm going to do one in just a few minutes, and then my oral and written updates so that you can keep up with what I'm doing for a few weeks at a time. So we'd like to give that to you if you haven't tried it before, and that's the big caveat. We're not out to just keep giving this away. It's something that you get yourself ready with on this kit for the months coming up for the basically the season as we go from I say it from September right on through May with the